you there? Where did you come from? Strange. It looks like you just came out of the Yarl's private lake house. Yeah, well, just make sure you don't get lost in anyone else's home. Live by our laws here, and we'll all get along just Okay, fine. the investigation starts now. Don't hurt anyone, don't steal anything. Same as anywhere else. Only the punishment here is much, much worse. The Jarl can tell you more, and help you get settled in. Might even have some quarters for you. I can take you to him if you like. Please do. Follow me. So, this is our farmland where we grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you ever want is leek, cabbage, and potato. If you have goods, merchants at the market up ahead will be happy to see you. Most of us have few belongings, just what we brought in with us. Morning, Gulvar. Morning, Ismar. Above us is the sun under the ground. It's strange and no substitute for the real sun, of course, but these days it doesn't bother me. What bothers me, pitted elf folk. Take Jormund, for example. They're on his balcony looking down on us. Just look at him. Yeah, Jormund, you're a really big man, aren't you? <laughs> Milk drinker. Aren't you going to introduce me to your strapping new friend, Galvar? We're on our way to see the Jarl. It'll be time for you to get your claws into our friend here later. Oh, I remember the first time I met the Jarl. I was so... Sentinel tonight. Just about everyone's there after dark. Be careful with Rastasia. She... Well... It's not my place to say. There's enough gossip in this place as it is. It's a small city, after all. Only 24 of us at the moment. 23 if you don't count Brandis, who's halfway to the next life. Luke is barely managing to keep him alive. So is this a vault? Like Fallout? This is the citadel, where the Jarl and his guests live. If you manage to worm your way in with you might get to live here too. Gulva, what do you think you're doing? You're meant to be working the Isle's farm, not trudging dirt into it. Citadel? Jormund, take it easy, would you? I was just showing our new friend here to the Jarl. Oh, well, here. how about you get back to work, and I take our new friend the rest? If you don't work, none of us eat, Gulver. Remember Hi there. that. Welcome to our city. Oh, Please, yes. come down and say hello once you've Fine. spoken with the guy. Get back to work. It was nice meeting you, my friend. Just stop by for a chat any time you like. I'm sorry about that. No. But it's my job to make sure we all have enough to eat. I'm Yormund. Let's head up to the next floor then, shall we? Stay close behind me. Wouldn't want you getting lost now, would we? Let's go. Let's go. It's good to Come see on. your face here. Haven't had any new arrivals in a while. Since Marius. But he mostly keeps to himself. Bit secretive, actually. Most people Marius. are friendly though. And so is that? Oh yes, I know this who is the she closest is. you'll get to Sovereign Guard in all of Tamriel. No crime, no conflict. Most folk don't even bother locking the doors. Even if you could steal something without breaking the Dwarves' law, it's not as if you could sell it to anyone here. Hmm. 
You wouldn't want to keep the Jarl waiting, would you? I'm sorry, what's my story? What an oblivion is your story? How dare you come in here like you own the place and expect me to explain myself to you? I don't care who you are, but pay attention. There's a pecking order around here and I'm at the top of it. Well, after the Yowl, of course. So work hard and do what I tell you or you'll wish you died and gone to oblivion, got it? That's more like it. Now that you know your place, you're going to do something for me. I want you to retrieve something for me. It's a helmet. Dwarven. Made thousands of years ago. But still in immaculate condition. One of those Vigilants of Stendar had it with him when he went down into the old mine tunnels over by the lake. He never came out. I want you to go down there and bring it back. Now, do you have any questions? Now there's a good peasant. Go on now. And don't you show your face in the citadel again without it, you understand? <laughs> Interesting. These must be cameras. I should be careful. Not trespass. This place is clearly watched. These are cameras. Oh, welcome. I'm Gaia. Do come and say hello when you're free. Always got her nose buried in a book, that one. Helps out Brawl down in the city. Our resident expert about the history and laws of the Dwemer. Last I heard, they were trying to track down some dwarven artifacts. You should ask Brawl about it, if you're into that sort of thing. Will do. Gaia, please speak. Okay, you're busy. You're Brawl, right? Yes. Okay. Who are you? I'm a little busy, but what do you need? Why, you think if you butter me up, I'll start making food for you too? <laughs> Why, you think if you butter me up, I'll start making food for you too? Well, fine. My story? I'm the Citadel cook in this life. Not exactly how I thought my life would end up. But it's better than it was on the surface. Uh, that. <sighs> Seems like a long time ago. I had a very easy life for myself in Markarth. Married to a silver merchant. Maybe it was a little too easy. I was bored. <laughs> a lot. Started looking for something to do. A friend introduced me to Skooma. It was fun for a while, but you know how it goes. I was a living cliche. Lost my husband, my home, my easy life. Then I found myself doing things I'm not proud of. That's when I realized if I couldn't keep myself away from the skooma, I'd have to keep it away from me. So when I found the entrance to this place, I knew what I had to do. Haven't touched the stuff since. Still get the cravings. <sighs> Sometimes I'd kill for one last bottle. But no point in thinking about it down here. Right. I got myself trapped in here for a good reason. No way I'm going back up there. 
so? No, I don't know a way out. And I wouldn't want to know. All right. See right. you later. Skuma addict. Let's continue. Hello, dear. Oh my, it's very nice of you to take an interest in my life, dear. But you don't need to humor an old woman. Really? Well, you're the first person in the city to say that. Well, let's see. These days I mostly just sweep the streets here, keep them clean. Cleanliness is next to godliness, or so they say. It's not very inspiring, as you can imagine, but the alternative is to wind up like poor Dooley. Oh, you haven't met him yet. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll introduce himself to you sooner or later. He's homeless. He lives in a cave by the lake. I feel sorry for him. I think most of us do. But ever since his brother died, he's... He's been obsessing over some long-lost treasure. The Jarl decided because he can't work, he doesn't deserve to live in a house like the rest of us. So he lives in a tent in a cave of sorts. But don't let him drag you into it. I'm quite sure it's imaginary. A great loss can do terrible things to a person's mind. Well, anyway, that's about all there is about me to tell, I'm afraid. I'm not very interesting. Well, the most important thing in my life is prayer. So let me ask you, have you found room in your heart for Mara, the Mother Goddess? Yes, of course, dear. Don't worry, I get that reaction a lot. Perhaps I'll see you later. Perhaps. Well, I'm still waiting for that immaculate helmet you promised me. Yes, yes, very busy. Getting right. the helmet. So we're about to meet Yal Metellus. There's a couple of things you know about him, if you want to make a good impression. First, he was the first one here. Well, he was here before as anyway. So the Citadel is his, and where are all his guests? Second, he's very protective of this place and won't tolerate anyone disturbing the peace. So be on your best behavior, and you should be fine. Hmm. What's this here? This is the top of the citadel. Yes, yes, but the bathhouse is off limits. And I'm not even sure what's behind the gold door. Only the Yarl has ever gone in there. Why is the bathhouse off limits? Alright, you're on your own from here. I've got lazy farmers to supervise. Good luck with the Yarl, and I'll see you around. Have you spoken with the Yarl yet? My story? Well, I'm from Markarf originally. Started working at Kolskiga Mines as a lad. And after a while, the Silverbloods made me foreman. I was doing pretty well for myself, until somebody decided to knock me down the shaft into this place. I have. I had. A wife and son. Still up there, I suppose. Though, they probably think I'm long gone. But, chin up, right? Meanwhile, I'm stuck down here, supervising workers to earn me keep. Waiting for the day that I can get out of here and back to my life in Markarth. I wish. Seems like Dwarfs designed this place to keep folk in. But the only thing that keeps me sane is thinking there has to be a way out. Well, I'd be lying if I said they're happy. But I'd also be lying if I said I cared. They're decent people and all, but they seem to have an hard time grasping that somebody around here's got to work the farms, or we all starve. Gulver's the worst of the lot. Seems like a decent man at first, but he's got a temper on him. Once he told me he killed a man before he came here. He'll tell you if you ask him. Of course, 
Down here with the dwarves, though. A bad temper could land us all in a lot of trouble. I'd keep an eye on that one, if I were you. Bad temper could get us all, all in right. trouble. Well, I'll see you around. What is dwarven law? I know there are cameras everywhere. The Jarl's waiting for you on his balcony. What? Did you say something to me? No use talking to me, young un. Can't hear a word you're saying. Both me ears went years ago. Still got my one good eye, though. All I need. Used to be a vigilant of Stender till I slipped up. You take it from me, you ever find yourself. You make sure you put some distance between you for you kill it. Otherwise, whoosh. Eyes, ears, and hair, gone. All at the same time. Didn't catch a word. And I'll be honest, still can't hear ya. Okay, the Yarl is there. But here is the shit cameras. 